seven. So I think I'm in the right place on YouTube. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. We've got a little bit of misty rain out there. So it's actually kind of pleasant. Just a little bit warm, a little bit cool. All right, I'm gonna do a quick refresh over here just to be sure I am transmittalating. Oh, sure I'm gonna I turn off my sound so I don't have to listen to myself. Okay, so today I have a fun fold for you and it is primarily to show off the new Seaside Bay stamp set and it is coming in the January to April 2023 mini catalog and it is beautiful. Hello, Kathy, hi Marva, how are you? Hello, Lorraine. And it is bundled with the Seaside Bay dies. And you know how I know that those are called the Seaside Bay dies? Because now everything, dies and stamp set, are called the same thing. It also gives you a really good opportunity. This is a great fold for showing off beautiful paper. And I have got the By the Bay DSP. You can see it there. But uh, this paper is truly truly stunning. It's got foiling in both gold, as I've used here, and in the Knight of Navy papers as well. So really, really beautiful paper. It's a six by six pack, so you're going to get 48 sheets. And you can uh, get some of this in my paper share that I'll be posting on Tuesday, I believe, if that's the six. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome back. It feels like forever since I've seen you guys. Okay. All right. So this is the card. And my friend Rosie showed me a picture of this, and I went and I found it on, uh, yeah, just forgot the name of the website. But I'll remember it, and I'll post, I'll post the name so I can give credit where credit is due tomorrow. But uh, I totally didn't make this up. All I did do was a little engineering of the, um, oh, you know, that thing that you do, the sizes, so that it would fit in an A2 card. And you can see it stands up, looks like a three-step easel, basically. And then it's got some diamonds with some of the pretty paper. And then I've made a little collage, a little sea, undersea collage here. And uh, there we go. And then on the back, you've got a little spot to say a little something, something. And that's what I did. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, all of this will be on my blog tomorrow, so you just can sit and watch and enjoy. And hopefully you like it. All right, here we go. So we're gonna start with a pool party card base and it is um, four and a quarter by 11. And we're gonna do quite a few scores, okay? You ready? Hey Janice, thanks for coming back, I appreciate it. All right, we're gonna score at three inches, six inches, seven and a half inches, nine inches, and yes, one more score at 10 inches there. There it is. That's it. The triple step card. All right. So we'll put this away now. And then basically we're going to just do every other fold as a mountain versus a valley. Okay. So the first one will start as a mountain and then we're going to go valley. And you can take the time now. When I made the first one, I didn't really take the time to burnish it real well. And then I had to try to go back and do it after it was all decorated. That was a little harder. I'm not going to kid you. So go ahead and take the time to do it. Right now. Right now. I hope you all are having a good weekend. We're uh, getting through. Have you guys got your trees up yet? We don't. We don't. We may soon. Okay, so there you can see pretty much a basic triple step card. Done. Now we're going to do some adhering. This is really technical stuff here. So we're going to do some adhering of some DSP. And I selected um, two DSPs that I thought complemented each other pretty well for the easel step, the step portions themselves. And I picked another couple for my diamonds. Now, let me just say this about that. I very deliberately, and it wasn't easy finding it in this stamps, in this DSP pack, I'm just going to say, I wanted a non-directional DSP because I could not get my brain around, I was going to have to pull out the Pythagorean theorem and I just, I just couldn't do it. So I couldn't get my brain around getting up and down on the diagonal, on the on the diamond. So we just didn't do it, okay? Just didn't do it. So I picked these, 
And this one right here, if you really want to get all technical and stuff, this could be water. And so it probably could be up and down, but I'm saying it isn't. So there. Okay. So let's go ahead and do some adhering. And I'm just going to go with liquid glue because, thanks, Julie, it is beautiful, beautiful paper. I love the little bits of soft shimmer. Like, for example, this piece right here. Can you see the, the splotches of shimmer? It looks like, it really looks pearlized to me. So it's, it's truly beautiful paper. And these guys have little bits of pearl every once in a while. And, you know, I want to say these are mussels, but I have a suspicion they're oysters, and I just don't really know what all the different oysters look like. I am not an oysterologist by, by far. Okay, so that one is done, and we'll do this one. Hello, Robin. Appreciate you coming back. I know, Karen, two times in one day. It's crazy. I'm so glad you could join me. I hope you enjoyed my hot mess of <laughs> pre-order peak because it was a bit of a hot mess, but that's okay. The idea is to see everything, not to, not to be all technical, right? Let's go with that. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. We went to Tractor Supply today. We have a brand new, and this is big news for us. We have a brand new Tractor Supply literally just around the corner. You can go to Starbucks, get the car washed, and go to Tractor Supply all in the same block. So that's a pretty big thing. It was so cute. It's, today was their first day open, so it was their soft open. They'll probably have like a big party or something. And so we took the Fin Man, because, you know, Tractor Supply, it's his thing, and as we walked in the door, there were like six associates standing behind the centralized, um, oh, the cashier place. It was, they've got the cashiers and customer service co-located kind of right at the front of the store. And everybody turned and all the women just grinned so big. People kept coming to find him in the store. Can I pet your dog? And one lady said, can I take his picture? And I think he's going to probably be a star, a tractor supply star, pretty sure. But do you think he would sit pretty? No. All he could do was sit there and grin at her. <laughs> he was like, I'm too excited to do anything like that. Hello, Lois. Appreciate you joining. Do I have everything organized and put away? <laughs> That's funny, Faith, because no. This is, uh, this is both my favorite time of year and my most dreaded time of year because I've got stuff going out, stuff coming in, stuff that's not off the shelves but needs to be, stuff that's not on the shelves but should be and shouldn't be. It's just, well, it's chaos, I tell you. It's just chaos. Okay, so this was pretty technical. I hope you were able to follow what I was doing there. These are all Knight of Navy mats. So Knight of Navy mats for my diamonds and Knight of Navy mats for my card. And now I'm going to go, it's crazy, more gluing and sticking I'm going to tell you what I did when I was putting this together so that I could see how it was going to look without putting it together. I used my repositionable tape runner, and I put it all together, but not together, if you know what I mean. So I could decide whether I liked how it was looking. I don't normally do that, but with this card, I really wanted to be sure I was getting proportions right and getting DSPs right, and so... Yes, exactly. Just exactly like the rest of us. Hey, Neoka, I appreciate you joining. I hope you're having a good weekend. Okay, so there's that. And you can see it starting to come together. Now, I think I'm going to show you. We're going to start with these. Um, we'll start by putting these guys on these first two, and then I'm going to decorate that last one before I adhere it, okay? Because that's easier, I promise. All right, so basically what you're doing with this one is you are centering it left to right, so the tips barely touch the edges of the card, and then the bottom tip, I just put it just slightly above the crease, just so that the card can fold without interfering. And here's the very technical way I do that. I pick this up, and then I go like this, like that. Yep, that's pretty technical. Mm -hmm. Now, you could, if you wanted, and if it, makes, if it makes you more comfortable, 
you could absolutely lay your little matted square down and make a very light line so that you could see where to not put glue. But I also think it's pretty straightforward to do it like that. Okay, the next diamonds, the way you line them up is you line up this edge and this edge, okay? And so you want this tip to not be down below the fold, but you want this edge and this edge lined up. Make sense? Okay. Again with the glue. And again with the lining up. Again with the lining up. Always with the lining up. There we go. Okay. So there's that. And making sure the tip is not past the fold. Oh, let's have somebody get rid of these guys, shall we? Hang on. Remove. Hang on, sorry. R oh, hide user on this channel. All right, bot person, get off. Get off. We don't need you here today. I am not in the mood for you. Okay, there. If anybody sees anybody else like that, just feel free to block and block and report and block and do all the things to them. Okay. Now, let's have a little fun with this last square. This is where all the magic and fun happens. Now, I have done a little die cutting. Aren't you glad? And I'm gonna show you where these all came from. Okay, so just a second. Just a second while I lay them out in a very orderly fashion. Like that. And like that. Okay, so, ready? All right, this is the oyster, and it comes from this die. And this is Sahara sand. I just ran it through, and there it was. That's all there is. This is what this die is made to do, is to fold like so, and then you can kind of gently curl it so it looks more like an oyster and less like a piece of paper. And then you can kind of put it on your card or on whatever in a three-dimensional way. And you could even stick one of the um, little pearl guys inside of it if you wanted. We, however, are going to cut this oyster in two. I don't know why they have to do that. I feel like they're not human people. I believe they're bots, but I wish they would use their powers for good instead of evil because we're not impressed. I don't care who they are, I am not impressed. Okay, so we're just gonna cut that and use just this part on this card. Now these guys, you have two grass dies in the um, Seaside Bay die set. And what I did is I used this design. It's got this on the back. I used this design and I cut them. You can see when I made the first one, I was like, oh, I probably should have made that vertical across the grass. And so that's what I did. I just tried to intersect a little bit to get a little bit of gold and a little bit of pink, petal pink, and a little bit of balmy blue on all four of the pieces. All right? So that's those two. And then you've got a couple of little shells, and I just cut them from some white. Okay? Basic white cardstock. <clears throat> this sentiment in balmy blue on white cardstock with the next to largest stylish shape circle die. And that, that's all there is to that. Easy and also peasy. So now we're going to do a little bit of... That's right. That is right. Don't mess with us crafter people. Mm -mm. Now we're going to make these shells a little less paper-like and maybe a little more shell-like. So I'm using just some um, petal pink on a sponge dauber. And we're just going to light, and I mean, it's light. I barely put any ink on there. And then I rubbed, I kind of rubbed it off. So it's really quite light. And then I'm just going to curl it just a little bit. Not much, but just a little bit. Okay. So that one is that one. And then we'll do the other one in balmy blue. Because I feel like, um, I feel like shells are blue and pink. I don't know. Maybe they're not. I don't know. When I was doing my little snorkeling in Maui, I was so busy trying not to panic at being underwater that 
I'm not sure what color the shells were. I'm pretty sure there were shells, but I don't know what color they were. I was also fascinated by the fact that the fish were right here in my face. And they looked like the fish that my brother had when I was growing up when he had his aquariums. All right, so there's a little bit of balmy blue. And we'll curl him a little bit. Okay, we have one more shell. And we're gonna do him, that is right, coal in their stockings. Mm -hmm. Hey, Connie, appreciate you coming. Oh, I got rid of the Sahara sand. Okay, so Sahara sand is gonna, we're gonna use that on this uh, big oyster guy. And I'm gonna start, cause I know that I used him yesterday. I'm just gonna start to be sure I don't have too much. Cause I really don't want a lot of ink on my dauber. I'm just kind of trying to pull out those embossed designs and get a little bit on the edges so he looks like he's been in the ocean for a while. Right? I mean, I don't think I don't think an oyster can sit in an ocean. This is a wild oyster, not a farmed oyster, just so you know. So he's probably been around a while. He's probably had lots of pearls. Here's a question. What happens when oysters get big pearls and they just keep growing? Do they just keep growing? And if, like, nobody dives down and gets their pearls, do the pearls just keep getting bigger and bigger? These are the things I wonder about. Okay, so there we go. That's all we're going to do with that. And now let's put it together. Now let's put it together. Let's put it together. Let's put it together. Okay, so we're going to put it on in a diamond form. So I think it would be probably good for me to build it in a diamond. That just makes sense to me when I say it like that. All right, so now I'm gonna use my handy tweezers. Now, just so you know, you can obviously go above and to the side. You can't hurt anything. I mean, you could go way over here and then you'd be in trouble, but really you can get pretty jiggy with this design because you can't hardly get away from, you can't hardly get too big for your bridges or your cart. <laughs> okay, here we go. Guess you will have to go back to Maui and snorkel again and pay attention. Yes, I concur, I concur. Julie, maybe they do spit them out, I don't know. Can they spit? These are, th I don't know probably should ask my brother. He probably knows this. Okay, we're going to make the glue come out of this bottle here any second now. Come on, glue. Come on. There it is. Okay. And I'm just kind of putting it near the bottom because I want to be able to tuck underneath if I want to tuck underneath. So we're just going to do build some grasses, baby. Build some grasses. Wayne is in there watching the, uh, or he may already be, it may already be over because it was looking pretty, pretty bad for LSU. I'm just throwing that out there. Georgia showed up now. Dogs. All right, so there's those three. And then I'm going to put one of these shells. And even though I curled it, I'm, I'm not going to use dimensionals. I'm just going to put some glue at the bottom like that. It'll be enough. It'll be enough. We're going to use a dimensional for the, the uh, you know, the doohickey. The thingy what's it? The, the sentiment. There it is. I knew I'd come up with the name eventually. Eventually. There you go. We do need a marine biologist on the team. If anybody wants to join who is a marine biologist, please, please feel free. You know, I think, well, that's okay. We'll do this like that. There we go. Uh-huh. Perfect. Perfect. And then we're going to slide this guy. This guy is going to go under here. I think this is how shells hang. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I made that up completely. But they're they're like in a little shell neighborhood, right? And then that guy right there like that. And then this one is going to be with a dimensional or two.
like so. Come here now. This dimensional right here has been a pill all day. Okay. All right. And then let's make this straight. You know, this little guy may be a little bit low. Yeah, he's a little bit low, so we're going to pull him up a little bit because we don't want him past that point. That's about the only place you can mess this up is to have it be beyond that point. All right, so I'm going to pull this little guy out. Another advantage to using liquid glue is that it gives you a little wiggle room, even that long after. All right, and then we'll put this guy right here like so. And then I'm going to put him on the card front and then finish up. Are there thousands of pearls out there at the bottom? I don't know. I, I don't know. This These are, I don't know. All right, so, yeah, he's a little bit low. You don't want him to be a little bit low. All right, now you're going to line these two edges up again, and we're just gonna put some glue right in this little area right here. Like so. And again, line up those edges. Make sure the tip doesn't go below the bottom of the card base, and then just hold it there for just a half a second. Okay, and have called these squeezers. Yes, I believe that's a very, very accurate term. Okay, so now I'm going to take my squeezers and I'm going to add a few of these um, flat adhesive back pearls. I'm going to use the little ones. I don't want to be ostentatious or anything like that. And... And we're going to go right there like so. And there is the front of our card. Fun, eh? Okay, so let's make a back. Every card, every card has a back. No, I'm, that's silly. That's silly. Okay, now let's see. How about if we use thank you for everything? Yeah, because that's what I already had out. Hello. Yes, it is very unintimidating. It is not at all scary. Once you see it broken down, you're like, oh, yeah, that. All right, so we're going to just line this up. Wait just a beat without rocking. There we go. Now I'm going to make a little sand, a little sea out of some Sahara sand. So this is underwater sand from the Sahara. I'm going to use this stamped image right here and just kind of go across the bottom like so. And then there's a second one. And I'm just going to kind of use it to add a little bit of sand like that. That's all I'm doing right there, just like that. And we'll put it on its mat and stick it on the back. Thank you, Jean. I know, everybody's going to be awake all night wondering what has happened to all those giant pearls. All those giant pearls. Probably all sitting down there in the back. I think I'm going to put a little pearl on here, too. I kind of like these little pearl guys. We're going to put him right there like that. And then... You know something that's interesting that I just now realized? <laughs> okay, so you have two, do you see, do you see, do you see, do you see what I see? I'll give you a few minutes to answer. Do you see what I see? I'll get it closer so you can tell. What's the difference? Hmm? Hmm? Can anybody see? Hint. This one is different than this one. How was that for a, for a hint? No? No? How about if I turn it over? How about if I open it up? Now you're going to be able to tell. So, here is the lesson. 
This card would look very fine with either a balmy blue card base, like the original, or with a pool party card base, like the one we just made. What? 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 Yes, so you can do either one. Uh, the unboxing is located on my YouTube channel, and it actually should be posted already. So, y'all, when I do the directions, I'm going to say balmy blue for the card base. <laughs> but you now know, because I have just proven it to you, <laughs> that you could use pool party if and yanted to. Okay? Okay, there you go. Yeah. It's one of those weeks. All right, so let's see. Have I already adhered this? Yes, I have. All right, so let's turn this over and put it on the back of... <laughs> Thanks, Jean. I didn't notice until right then. All, all of a sudden, I was like, man, that other card just looks different. What in the world is, is the actual difference? All right, so we're going to put this on here. Like so. And again, if you feel confident with your ups and your downs and your orientations and all of those other things, you could absolutely put this on first. It's a little easier without all of the thickness, but not required at all. Okay, let's do an envelope and we'll be done. We're going to do sand on the envelope. There it is. I did intend the color lesson. Yes, let's go with that. Gene, let's go with that. <coughs> All right. So for those of you who are waiting for catalogs, tomorrow is the day. I am I am going to get them stuffed, and they will go to the mail on Monday. Come heck or high water, as long as the creek don't rise, they will go to the mail on Monday, I promise. All right. And then we're just going to stamp a little bit of sand like so. I love those sands. The sands are very nice. But you know what? I'm going to put a little sand right there. It was a test. Let's even go with that. And there are probably multiple other colors. Petal, I really think petal pink would be a good base color, personally. That's just me, though. I think that would be a really pretty color. I think you could use each of the colors in the DSP and have it be the same exact look and completely different all at the same time which I think would be very awesome. Okay. And a little bit of this pretty paper on the envelope flap. I do love the paper in this pack. I really, really do. If you didn't hear the unboxing video, I am going to be doing a paper share, and it will post on the 6th, which, if my math is correct, is Tuesday. So be watching for that, and I hope you'll get in and get some, get a little bit of everything paper-like, and you'll get some extra free bonus papers from the Celebration Catalog, too. All right, there we go. So, you got your basic balmy blue version, and you got your basic pool party version, and I have to say, I like them both. I do. I like them both quite a bit. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you will try one of these cards soon. And I hope you're ready for Seaside Bay, because it's awesome. All right, guys, thanks. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Appreciate you. Bye.